Good evening. Welcome to the Daily Office. Thank you for joining me. This is Night Fair for Tuesday, August 25th. It's the 13th week after Pentecost and week one in the Psalm cycle. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 11 and Acts chapter 26, verse 24 to chapter 27, verse 8. Now please join me in singing verse 3 of Psalm 95 to the tune of Pure Novice. Now come and worship and bow down and kneel before our Maker. You're our God and we your flock, the people of your pasture. Our help is in the name of God Most High, the Maker of heaven and earth. Let us confess our sins to God. Together. O merciful God, we have sinned through our own fault, in our thoughts and words and deeds, and in what we have failed to do. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We have not loved our neighbor as ourselves. We beseech you overlook our faults and cast our sins behind your back, that we may serve you and praise you all the days of our lives. Amen. And may Almighty and merciful God grant us forgiveness of all our sins, and the grace and the comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to my assistance. Make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. In you I put my trust. Alleluia. Psalm 11. And please recite it with me. Alleluia. In you I put my trust. How can you say to my soul, fly like a bird to your mountain? For the wicked bend their bows. They make ready their arrows upon the strings to ambush those who are upright in heart. If the foundations be destroyed, what can the righteous do? You are in your holy temple. Your throne is in heaven. Your eyes look down on the world and test the peoples of the earth. You love the righteous but hate the wicked and violent. Upon the wicked shall rain snares, fire and brimstone and a horrible tempest. This shall be the portion of their cup. For you are just and love justice and your face looks upon the upright. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now, and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. In you I put my trust. Alleluia. A lesson from the Acts of the Apostles. Chapter 26, beginning at verse 24. Now, while he was making his defense, Festus exclaimed, You are out of your mind, Paul. Too much learning is driving you insane. But Paul said, I am not out of my mind, most excellent Festus, but I am speaking the sober truth. Indeed, the king knows about these things, and to him I speak freely. For I am certain that none of these things has escaped his notice, for this was not done in a corner. King Agrippa, do you believe the prophets? I know that you believe. Agrippa said to Paul, Are you so quickly persuading me to become a Christian? Paul replied, Whether quickly or not, I pray to God that not only you, but all, also all who are listening to me today might become such as I am, except for these chains. And then the king got up, and with him the governor and Bernice, and those who had been seated with them. And as they were leaving, they said to one another, This man is doing nothing to deserve death or imprisonment. Agrippa said to Festus, This man could have been set free if he had not appealed to the emperor. When it was decided that we were to sail for Italy, they transferred Paul and some other prisoners to a centurion of the Augustan cohort 
named Julius, embarking on a ship that was about to sail to the ports along the coast of Asia, we put to sea, accompanied by Aristarchus, a Macedonian from Thessalonica. The next day we put in at Sidon, and Julius treated Paul kindly and allowed him to go to his friends to be cared for. Putting out to sea from there, we sailed under the lee of Cyprus, because the winds were against us. After we had sailed across the sea, that is, off of Cilicia and Pamphylia, we came to Myra in Lycia. And there the centurion found an Alexandrian ship bound for Italy and put us on board. We sailed slowly for a number of days and arrived with difficulty off Nidus. And as the wind was against us, we sailed under the lee of Crete off Salome. Sailing past it with difficulty, we came to a place called Fair Havens, near the city of Lassia. Here ends the lesson. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O God of truth. Keep us as the apple of your eye, hide us under the shadow of your wings. Together. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Strengthen us in our pursuit of truth and justice, dear God, that we may find favor in your sight and salvation at your hand. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.